on the road looking for a and we've got time for a well guys there's a lot of talk about fantastic stuff david thank you as always and we saw the same is he a rookie debate with simmons and mitchell and to be honest i'm still a little torn on ai qualifying as a rookie or not but one thing that is it for debate is whether his play has been good enough as he has been incredible Steve, both teams tonight love to run the offense through the post. Great dynamic if you can make it work, that is. Yeah, it's not bad if you still have an old-school back-to-the-basket guy that can score on the block. But what I love now is not a lot of standing back when I played. You, see, you still see teams cutting, setting screens, and a lot of backdoor cuts where guys get some easy layups when you play out the post right now. Just a lot more movement. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Don and Levine are the guard set. And down low, it's Markinen and Carter. And it's Allen in at the three seed. So the Chicago Bulls able to put up the first points on the board. Six on the shot clock. And finish off by Collins. How about the vision from the crafty little guard? Young excels at realizing when his guys have clean looks. And that was an unleashed chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habits. And where's the help? Obviously, a missed rotation. Something they're going to want to patch up. Only the first quarter. Guys are getting in a groove, but communication on the defense has to be better. Prince misses. Allen passes to Markinen. To the right side. Allen outside. Back to Dunn. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. The shot's good. Allen's got his second bucket of the night. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. First quarter, you're really testing the defense, trying to find their weaknesses. Now here's Bazemore. 11 points for him in that last game against Minnesota. Goes up on the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, this is why you see guys shying away from their mid-range jumper. It's a bit of a lost art. Marking in good. You know, that's another good play call. They are shooting 80% to start this game. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. No surprise in a battle of wheels down low, the big man comes away with it. Allen dishes to Levine. Back to Allen. Right wing. Dunn kicks to Markinen. Levine against Bazemore. Markinen from outside. And he's good on the three ball. Markinen's got seven. And just building on to the lead, extending it, trying their best to put this one away. You sense the game has a number of ways it can go. All you can do is your very best at that moment. Now, here's Bazemore. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. To stop the drought. Not going to go that time. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Their last encounter was in Chicago. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively, disrupting the flow of their offense and causing a ton of turnovers. They wreaked havoc on the defensive end and really held the pace of the game in their favor for the entire game. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. And when you take a look at that shot chart, the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. You start to wonder, in my opinion, is it better to take everything to the rack now or to try at least draw some fouls? Young taking his time here. Here's Prince. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Smart play by Prince. Attack the interior of this defense. Force them to close off the lane. Carter the pass to Dunn. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Carter right side. He's more against Levine. Looking for Allen and gets it there. Over Prince. Allen shot is off. Last game for the Bulls. They picked up the W against the Grizzlies in Memphis. And Bazemore kicks to Young. It's good from long range. The 
First thing that jumps out at you about Young, that seemingly limitless shooting range and the spacing that affords for this offense. Now, here's Markinen. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Memphis. Shoots a fader. Allen shot is off. You know what? Just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. And looking at Prince's game, you know, he could be the ultimate complimentary player. A good shooter, doesn't need a ton of touches, solid enough on defense, and is showing signs of improvement. Levine kicks to Allen. Arkinen passes to Levine. Now Allen, he's covered by Bazemore. Fade away. Not enough on that one as it misses. The Hawks trail by six. Nice D from Levine. Fantastic rim protection. That's not in his wheelhouse to overcome. Allen finds Levine. Carter at the elbow. To the paint. Here's Allen. And again, no good by Chicago. I mean, you can see it. He's way out of sync. It's been this way all quarter for him. It's almost as if there's a lid on the hoop for him right now. He still hasn't gotten one to fall in the court. The bounds, Atlanta takes possession. And all month long, he's been fantastic. And now he's been named the Eastern Conference Player of the Month. And having a small forward on the wing of his caliber just opens up so many things for your team. A lot of attention is paid to him. And with the stretch he's had, even more will be coming his way. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Atlanta. Bounce pass, Young. Up top, Lin. Guarded by Levine. Prince outside. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Lynn, that's a two-pointer. Atlanta gets it back in a new 24. Goes up again, and the layup good by Collins. Collins has got his second basket of the night. And already, they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. I mean, they were so impressive offensively. And when you do that, that can really help you on the road. It's one thing to play inspired defense in that situation. But to get in that kind of offensive rhythm away from home, phenomenal. And the Hawks making a change here. Lens checked in. Now here's Levine. Playing Memphis, he was nearly unstoppable. Here's Allen. The shot drops. His shooting percentage improves. He's three for seven now with that basket. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Prince, the pass to Land. It's good. Land's got his first bucket of the night. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. And then Carter with the dunk. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. If you aren't going to at least step in front of him, you can't be surprised when he throws it down like that. Here's Young. The Bulls getting the bucket. You know, such a selfless player. I love how Young stays consistent in how he involves his teammates. The Bulls leading by four. Dunn kicks to Carter. Back to Dunn. To the inside. Allen. It's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It goes on Torian Prince. Bulls shooting their first free throws of the game right now. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Chicago making a switch here. Portis, he's checked in for Carter. Parker comes in for Markinen. Justin Holliday's checked in for Levine. And Cameron Payne subbed in for Dunn. Now here's Lynn. A 14-point game for him in the win against Minnesota. To the wing on the left. And here's Anderson for three. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Anderson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Anderson against Allen. Parker finds Allen. 
And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. How about the quarter he's having? Tremendous execution on the offensive end, helping to further fuel this lead. Pass to Len. Herter. Rebound by the Bulls. And Smitty, you had perhaps some of your best seasons while a member of the Atlanta Hawks. What was it like being the face of this franchise during that time? You know, I was proud to have led this team to so many playoff trips. It was fantastic being Atlanta Hawk. It was also fun representing this team in the All-Star game. I played with some of the best in the business. Hall of Famer Jakembe Mutombo, All-Star and Mookie Blaylock. And I played for a legendary Hall of Fame coach, Lenny Wilkins. Now here's Parker. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Allen passes to Portis. Payne dishes to Allen. It's good. That basket, he's now five for nine. And they've repeatedly thrown inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. The pass to Lynn. He kicks it to Lynn. Using his post moves to get the two points. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Allen finds Portis. Parker outside. Here's Allen, and it's Allen slamming it down. This is where it's important to have guys looking for opportunities. Terrific lead pass. The Hawks trail by four. It's Anderson with the drive. Allen with the rebound. And so Allen will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. This is it to Parker. Right side Holiday. Back to Parker. Allen against Anderson. From 12 feet out. And again it will drop another make there from Allen. Now it's a six-point Bulls lead. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Outside, Lynn from downtown does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Allen kicks to Parker. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second cut. With a break in the action, time for a rundown now of the most accurate shooters at small forward over the last 10 games. You look at Allen, leading the league in field goal percentage, he always gets good looks. And when you've got a player like him who can shoot that efficiently on the perimeter, it gives you a remarkably dependable option every time down the floor. And to shoot a high percentage, you have to be able to make shots in the inside in traffic, and they do a good job of doing that. A shot missing, and Atlanta will go the other way with it. Herter guarded by Holiday. Out to the wing. Here's Lynn. Rebound by the Bulls. Allen's got four rebounds in this game. To the middle, here's Portis, and Portis throws it down. This is what they want to see. Portis finishing strong inside, making his presence felt. Lynn looking it over. And he banks in the layup. Lynn's got his second bucket of the game to go. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is where he shows both skill and body control along with the attack mindset. Allen, that's good. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. The Hawks trail by eight. Outside, Lynn. Bulls from the top of the key. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll take a... Had a moment to talk with AI on his team's chances to win it all this year. When the season started, there was a feeling on this team. Greg, AI not getting the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. So for the Bulls.
Everybody talked about that huge Jimmy Butler trade last year. Some people criticized the Bulls' return in the deal, but the team seems happy with what they got. A free throw drops for Deadman. A terrific athlete, Deadman went undrafted a few years back, but now he's starting to grasp the mental side of the game. So the Bulls five right now, and down low it's Markinen and Carter. Don and Levine are the guard set, and it's Allen in at the three spot. To the left side wing. Levine, the bounce pass. Allen, that's good. Well, talking about that trade, it's obvious the Bulls were thinking full on rebuild. Yeah, they got young assets in Zach Levine and Chris Dunn. Lowry Marketing was a great draft pick. Meanwhile, Jimmy Buller and the Wolves, they lost in the first round of the playoffs. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Grizzlies was terrific. He had 49 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. He put up great numbers and a terrific effort. It's not a game that anyone wanted to miss. And he'll be looking for a repeat performance tonight, Kevin. Hey, David, thanks very much. He's one of those players who can do remarkable things on any given night in any given game. That was a special game he played. And it wasn't just the performance, guys, but really his preparation. He knew the right way to attack in every situation. And that was the beauty of it, his ability to read and react to whatever they threw at him. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Young pass to Prince. Inside, here's Deadman. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Dwayne Dedman, a player who started his NBA career late, was a rookie at age 24 and then floated around to several teams. But he has gone from being an end-of-the-bench guy to an important rotation player in just the last few seasons. Chicago making a switch here. Portis has checked in. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. The Hawks trail by seven. Baysmore. Five points in the game. Young up top. Dunn covering. Young finds Baysmore. Back to Young. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Carter the pass to Dunn. The feed to Allen. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Pass to Levine. Three-pointer. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Nice form. The elbow right in line. Zach Levine has a fantastic-looking shot. Pass to Bazemore. Kicks to Prince. There's the pass to Young. Poked away. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full of that. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. I, I just thought the defense was, was porous. Got any shot they wanted, really, for most of the evening. I'll give them credit. Even though they were facing very little resistance, they refused to play down to the level of their competition. Alex Lenz checked in for Dwayne Dedman. And here's Collins. Nine points last game. Feeds it to Young. Back to Prince. Lock at six. To end the run. The shot comes out. The Bulls leading by 12. Dunn kicks to Allen. Over Prince. And the Bulls tack on two more. I'm not sure if he was trying to show off or what, but when you're that open, you got to go straight to the basket. The fadeaway was clearly a bad choice. Pass to Len. Young against Dunn. Young outside. 
You know, I like the competitive fire, but he's still really out of sync. Chicago's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Here's Carter. Lynn with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lynn. There's 138 left in the first half. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. It's a 14-point game. He kicks it to land. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Levine. The Hawks again can't hit. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. With this big of a deficit in the score, you think the losing team would be playing harder. Nope. The opposite. And there's the whistle. That goes on Chris Dunn. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. And the Hawks making a change here. Lens checked in. <laughs> 52 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Pass to Young. Hands it from downtown. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. The Bulls leading by 13. Bean passes to Carter. Allen kicks to Levine. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. There's 21 seconds left here in the second. Prince against Allen. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. To succeed in this league, you can never be satisfied. It's a certain mentality, and Prince has that. Dunn passes to Allen. Over Prince. No good on that last second attempt there. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Thank you, Kevin. With a big part of the season now behind us, you are a serious Rookie of the Year candidate. How much motivation does that give you? Uh, <laughs> well, uh... Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Really an incredible game from AI. And I love the game plan in that first half. They really valued each possession. You know what? It's hard to do. Stay in focus and discipline with your approach. Young and Bazemore team up in the backcourt. And it sprints outside at the three with Collins down at the power forward. And it's Deadman in at the center locking down the middle. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Steve, you know there are so many ways you can impact the game at crunch time, but there are certain guys, as you also know, that thrive on taking that last shot. Yeah, Damian Lillard is one of those guys. We call it Dame time. James Harden, Kyrie, you look at Steph Curry. These guys have the basketball in their hands. They want to take the last shot. Kevin Durant, the great Russell Westbrook, they want it in their hands to be able to decide the outcome of the game, and they want it all on their shoulders. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Trey Young. Not the easiest guy to stick. Chris Dunn's quickness puts defenders in difficult spots. Well, Greg, for Atlanta, it was out with the old and in with the new for the point guard position for the Hawks. And Hawks were able to trade down and still get the guy they wanted in, in Young. See him as an impact guard to build around for the future. 
had to move Schroeder to free up space for Young, but this team now has a clear core to build around. Levine finds Allen over Prince. That's good from Allen on the assist by Levine. Allen's got 28 points for the game. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Back to Collins. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Levine. Detman with the block. The 7-4 wingspan of Detman. Hard to get your shot over that. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, it seems every season new records are set for the number of three-pointers made and attempted. It's proven to be successful, and, of course, it is a copycat league. It's hard to know why it took so long for everyone to catch on, but now that they have, the effects continue to ripple throughout the league. They sure have, David. Thank you. The Hawks working the ball around. Here's Bazemore. Steps back and trains the jump shot. Bazemore's got his third basket of the night. Good decision in the pick and roll. Bazemore has the room to take the shot. Calmly knocks it down. Arkanen kicks to Dunn. Allen dishes to Carter. Pass to Dunn. Shot clock at six. And stolen by Dedman. And Zach Levine gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Anderson, he's checked in for Atlanta. And the Bulls making a change also. Payne's checked in. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. The winners of six championship titles, the Chicago Bulls, all in the 1990s, and all with Jordan and Pippen. Teams value the three so much nowadays. Let's check out the best at it. The Bulls third. No doubt. They have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. Collins passes to Young. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, the Bulls rebuilt their team a couple times, but then things would unravel. Yeah, you had the Derrick Rose years. He won league MVP playing for the Bulls. Then you had Jimmy Butler. He gets traded. They continue to search for that championship formula once again. One could argue that's a good shot, but maybe not the right shooter to take it. Anderson wide open. No good with the triple. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Comfortable on the offensive end, marketing drawing contact, but maintains his focus. The Hawks trail by 15. Young from outside. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got six rebounds here tonight. Anderson against Allen. Outside, Levine. Allen against Anderson. Just five to shoot. Levine inside the three-point line. It's Chicago with another bucket. That's their third straight make off an assist. Anderson outside. Deadman with it, and it's Carter picking him up. The Hawks again can't hit. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. 17-point lead, their biggest. He feeds it to Allen. Back to Payne. Outside, Levine. Kicks it to Allen. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Last season marked a change, Smitty, as we know, in the number of timeouts a team can get, as well as the length of those timeouts. You think it's helped us speed the game along a little bit, made it more efficient? Yeah, I think it has. I, I, I love it that the coaching staffs are limited to two timeouts during the last three minutes. I love that it sped up the game. I think next for us is start to look at uh, how much time is spent on referees looking at the replay of plays. I think that's the next step for the NBA to kind of speed up the game. Inside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Well, Smitty, you played here in Atlanta for so many years. What are some of your favorite spots or, or things to do in Atlanta? 
Well, I love to eat, and I, two of my favorite places are Busy Bee Cafe, just love that, and Umi. Then what I love to do is try to get a little exercise. I love to walk Chastain Park. The fans here, the city of Atlanta, I just love it so much we've made it home. Plumley, great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Anderson against Allen. The pass to Holiday. Back to Allen. Over Anderson. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. That's now 32 points for Allen. Here's Young. 11 points in the game. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Atlanta calls timeout. Justin Holiday, the older brother of Drew Holiday, stints in the G League and abroad, but Greg, he has solidified himself as an NBA player. Yeah, standing at 6'7 with that 7-foot wingspan, every team in the league wants long, versatile wings with shooting. And this young man fits the bill. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Young. Outside, Lynn. Anderson outside. Six on the shot clock. Over Allen. The Hawks again can't hit. Chicago leading by 21. To the inside. Here's Lopez. Off the left rim and out. Well, if you're the coach, you're frustrated right now. That's exactly the look you're trying to get on offense. Anderson against Allen. Anderson outside. Passes it to Plumley. Fires high post. It's all in by the Bulls. Levine's got five rebounds tonight. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Anderson. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Lynn's running. Unable to get that one. Nice D from Levine. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jeremy Lynn. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Levine finds Allen. Out to Carter. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Allen against Prince. Lock at six. Carter dish it to Allen. There's the feed to Markinen. Here's Carter. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. And the Bulls lead by 19. And for the Hawks, they're shooting 43% from the floor. So the Bulls five right now. Don and Levine are the guard set. And down low, it's Markinen and Carter. And it's Allen in at the three. Beasting on defense. First, he closes out hard on the shooter. Then he attacks the glass. Filthy. And that's the look this offense is designed to produce. Always frustrating when you do everything right, yet just can't complete the play. And Bazemore gets to Young. Pass to Dedman. Bazemore against Levine. They need this one. Markinen pulls it in. The Bulls leading by 19. And stolen by Bazemore. Here's Young. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. Yeah, just What's exceptional up? focus on these hard finishes. Young welcomes getting physical on the way up. And for Trey Young, it's a little unfair that he's already being compared to Steph Curry. Scouts are always going to look for comparisons. And I'm not saying Young is Curry, but many of the strengths and weaknesses are similar. The, the size and athleticism, the insane range, and both have that it factor. You can tell he is on a mission down the stretch. Attack offensively and build on this lead. He kicks it to Dedman. Pass to Prince. Down low. Young's shot is off. Bulls have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Bean passes to Allen. Oh, 
five on the clock. Back to Levine. And it's blocked. Baysmore, an excellent shot blocker for his size. His seven-foot wingspan catches you off guard. The Hawks trail by 20. And Young kicks to Prince. The pass to Collins. Back to Prince. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Doing a great job of making himself big in the paint. Torian Prince makes a tough shot over the contested hand. Carter dish it to Allen. And Allen slams it in. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. And so Young will bring it up for Atlanta. Well, the NBA has had three referee crews for quite a while. Steve, do you think adding a fourth ref would help in any way? No, I think it'll get a little bit crowded on the floor. I would love to see. I know they won't go back. I love the two referee situation. I look at it right now. Referee A calls a call. Referee B calls a call. It just feels like Referee C has to make the next call or get up, up far as even with the other referees. I would love to see them go back to a two referee uh, situation. The Hawks have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. And here's Prince outside. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Another triple, and that's been the story of this second half. Coming out of the break, they've relied on their perimeter offense to generate points. Right now, is working. Allen against Prince. Six to shoot. And stolen by Dedman. Here's Bazemore. Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's on the wing, Levine. And stolen by Bazemore. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. Fires top of the key. That shot, no good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. 22 is their biggest lead. Out to the right wing. Arkanen passes to Allen. And it's Allen slamming it down. The height to see over the defense and the unselfishness. Terrific pass by Markinen. Young against Dunn. And Young kicks to Dedman. He dishes it to Bazemore. against Young. The thing is, you want to do everything you can to help your team, and sometimes you just try to do too much. Tipped away. Down at the elbow. Markin in the corner. Let's the three fly. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. For Atlanta, they've gone five of 12 from the field entering the fourth quarter. Young against Dunn. Young passes to Dedman. Allen against Prince. Five to shoot. Rebound by the Bulls. Or three, Levine. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. All about converting your opportunities. He just hit his second three of this half, third of the night. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. To the paint. Kicks it out to Prince. They get it back. Collins. Will it go? No good. Shot missing. Chicago's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Prince with it. Now, here is Young. Shoots from the high post. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Allen's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Dunn. He trains the quick shot. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Well, Steve, we've just come out of the first year where we saw legislation from the NBA about resting players. 
you feel about the new rules so far? You know, I like them. I, I love that when you start to see these teams that were resting players on national televised games. But I think overall, just resting players. I think our contract says that we play 82 games unless you're injured. And if a guy is injured, you understand. But I love the new rules that was implemented. I agree. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Shamit. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Here's Markinen. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You look at Lowry Markinen. He's a Bound by Anderson. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Inside, Lumley finds Young and stolen by Payne. Here's Allen to the left side wing. Over Anderson, and that one hits back iron. How Young. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin, to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they